actually it was it was pretty amazing because we had all these generations of musicians coming together to pay homage to this man that so many people don't realize how how in, influential he was to you know some of our iconic musicians of Led Zeppelin, Beatles, the Stones. Wake me, wake me up, hold it a little while. I think I see my sister coming down in the end of my You know, it was, it was really fun to just take these songs and hear everybody do their interpretation of a Lead Belly song that, you know, someone else famous had already interpreted. So it was like a reinterpretation and a reinterpretation. Well, if you want to ride, you got to ride it like you find it. If you think it ever stays, you go to ride the line. If you want to ride, you got to ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station over the Rock Island line. I mean, it's, it's, it's an incredible thing and, in you know, you have these generations spanning this music and I think that is the torch that we hand each other that has to keep this music alive. Take this I was here to play at the preview of the Lead Belly Festival. You need to rehearse enough that everybody has a set idea of, of a sort of basic form. And from there you just need to play, you need to get in the moment and play and communicate with each other. First time I remember hearing an actual Lead Belly song would be House of the Rising Sun. There is a house in New Orleans They call the Rising Sun Play with some great local musicians, got to um, sing with Dana Fuchs, that was awesome and um, got the share of the stage at the end with lots of great players and singers. Great fun. As long as she gets down to Varick Street for a night full of lead belly songs. So it's going to be an amazing concert, similar format, so spread the word and hope you come along.